All right, folks, here we are again. I hope you're not sick of me by now, but you know, my passion is to introduce you to people that you need to know, that I'm excited to know, and more importantly, whose lives and whose work indicates that there are still possibilities for our finances, for our romances, for everything, despite <laughs> all of the social challenges that we have. All, the, the, the fight for justice is well known, and I encourage everyone to be an activist, to vote and do all of that. But the, the reality is you don't wanna be woke and broke. And the best way to not be broke is to have an entrepreneurial spirit to understand that even if you have a job, you are in business and you're selling talent, you're selling ideas, you're selling your personality. And there is, there is no one, I think, that's more qualified to personify and to describe what I'm talking about than Ms. Jennifer Williams. Jennifer, thank you so much for being a part of the D Free movement, being with us on FinFast 21, and for being such a role model for entrepreneurship. You got thank started, you. I think you got started doing like real estate, right? Yeah, so I do have my real estate license. I'm from New Jersey. And um, I think real estate is really important. And so I didn't know that I necessarily wanted to be a realtor, but yeah. I, I love the game of real estate. I think it's definitely essential. And um, we, have to, we have to start owning our property. Right. What I'm told is that in addition to being an actress, who I'm sure is going to really blow up in a minute, but besides that, okay. you, you are doing something with hair. Now I have to confess, last year during COVID, I had to cancel a trip to India. And one of my objectives in India was to invest in hair. I plan on bringing a boatload of hair back to the US and hooking up with people that sell hair. I couldn't go because of COVID. So now, you know, I'm kind of low key jealous because <laughs> you're doing what I wanted to do. Talk to us about how you made the well, transition. Well, it's funny you say COVID. that. I actually am wearing some Indian curly hair in my hair right now. Get out and of um, India has some amazing hair. So I'm sorry you weren't able to take that trip, but um, I can, <laughs> I, we can definitely talk about some hair. <laughs> so for me, you know, I'm on TV. People always ask me about my hair. I've been known for my hair with or without me for a really long time. And when you have the opportunity to be on television and to do a show like Basketball Wise, it is pretty much a free commercial for you. So if you don't take advantage of this free commercial and just engage in the drama and nothing else, it is a lost cause. So for me, I said, you know what? What makes sense for me? And hair made sense because it's something that I am known for. Now, I think getting into the hair business, it, is, it requires a lot of research. There's a lot of stuff I don't know about hair. There's a lot of stuff I'm still learning. And for me, it had to be the right situation just because I don't have a lot of time to travel to India and China and all these different places to learn about different hair because of what I do for work and my other projects that I have going on. So it was a perfect opportunity when I actually met my business partner who's been in the hair business for over a decade. He's like the goat of hair. He knows the ins and outs. He has connections. He gets hair that nobody else can get during COVID. As you know, it was a shortage in everything and hair was definitely one of the things and he was able to still keep his businesses going and, and get hair and he makes over a million dollars a month selling hair. Yeah, now you see you're making me mad because I didn't want you to have a partner. I was willing to go to India to buy the hair and then partner with you, but you already have a partner. And I do, it, it, I had to have a partner because again, I don't really know a lot about hair. I know good hair and I know bad hair when I put it in, but I needed someone that really knows the ins and outs, that has the connections because I wasn't able to do that. So for me, it's the perfect marriage of a partnership because I'm able to just be me, be Jennifer, be the personality. And he 
does everything on the business side between marketing, getting the hair. So it's a, it's a really great opportunity for me and I'm super grateful and blessed to have it. Yeah, that's really great. Now we, we are an educational platform among other things. And not only do we wanna connect people to opportunities, but we wanna teach principles. I've heard three very important principles so far. Number one, you did research. Number two, you formed a partnership with someone because you couldn't do it all yourself. But number three, which is absolutely vital, you have taken your role in Basketball Wives, which is kind of a high profile role, but you've not settled in on that role as if it's the be all and end all. So you're leveraging what you have to expand on your business opportunities. And that is exactly what we want people to know and to hear and to do. Now, Ms. Williams, in terms of your business, did you form a formal partnership with your partner or do you have a business? He has a business and you have a kind of memorandum of understanding or, or working. No, with. no, 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 no. When you're, when you're going into business, you need to treat it as such and you have to take it serious. So doing things on a handshake, no, you need to form formal partnerships with paperwork. Great. So one of the principles that Jennifer Williams is teaching us is that if you're in business, do business. Don't do relationships. Don't do assumptions. Have everything in writing. Have an attorney review it and sign on the dotted line and make sure you have an instrument to which you can hold people accountable. What are two or three of the other lessons you've learned in business that you think other people should absolutely take seriously? Okay, so one uh, I think I, I talked about earlier is do a lot of research and things do not happen overnight. That is one thing that I think, I, listen, I love instant gratification, so I get it, but it's not the reality when we are in business. It takes a lot of time, sweat. You have to be dedicated to the work, but I will also say, don't give up. If it is your dream and you're serious about it, do not give up. And don't think that it's going to happen overnight because nothing good is easy, right? And if it was, everybody would be doing it. And when you put the time in and you see your work come to life, it is so fulfilling. So just never give up. If it really is your dream, just stay with it, stick with it, and be persistent. Right. Well, before I ask you the big question, let me ask you a basic question. How do we buy yeah, can I call it your hair or is it our hair? I guess yeah, it's no, no, your no. hair yeah. until we buy it. It becomes our hair. How do people buy the hair that you sell? Okay, so my, my hairline is it's called Redefine. You can get it at redefineglam.com. Okay, so now we have Jennifer Williams, Basketball Wives TV, Jennifer Williams, Movie Star Movies, Jennifer Williams, Hair, right? And Jennifer Williams, cosmetics and just beauty correct beyond that what jennifer williams what so i also believe in being in control of your own content so i started jennifer williams productions i'm actually working on a documentary called scam likely well that's wonderful i'm working on a documentary series myself so maybe we'll cross paths at a film festival or yes absolutely I, I would love i would love to hear all about it so Listen, I, first of all, I want to thank you because this, um, this event that you're participating in is designed to do more than just talk and teach. It's really designed to connect people with real-time, right now, resources that can help them whatever level they're on. And one of those resources is a group of retired executives who now volunteer their time to mentor young, new startup businesses. So I want to ask you in closing, who helped you? Who was your business mentor? Who did you kind of lean on when you were expanding beyond the camera into entrepreneurship to really develop your business platform? You know, I would say I don't have one person that is a mentor for me, but I do believe in the circle of people you have around you is very important and will definitely influence your network and your net worth. So make sure you are surrounded by good people that you can benefit from and you can also bring something to the table. 
you got to help each other. That's what we're here to do. So I just try to surround myself with good business like people like myself. And I try and learn from whoever I can at this point. That's great. I want to thank you for your being a real person down to earth, in touch with yourself, feet on the ground, even though you're rising to heights that I'm sure are amazing. And I just want to thank you for supporting our movement just by your presence. Thank you so much. That was a beautiful compliment. And yes, however I can help, that's what I'm here to do because you know, knowledge is power and we have to share it. Right. Well, God bless you, Miss Jennifer Williams. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate you. Thank you. We'll see you soon.